My name is Bonnie Murphy. Uh, I'm Canadian and I um, took up my EMBO fellowship at the Max Planck Institute of Biophysics in Frankfurt. I use a tool called cryoelectron microscopy to solve the structures of protein complexes. And my EMBO fellowship was based around a project looking at ATP synthase, which is uh, an important complex that sits in the mitochondrial membrane and helps to make energy for the cell. Uh, and what we were able to find was um, the source of, um, or the structural basis of flexibility in that complex that allows it to, to generate the energy carrier ATP. My PhD studies were in mechanistic studies of redox proteins. And as I came to the end of my PhD studies, I uh, became aware of huge developments in the field of single particle analysis of cryo-EM images and it started to become possible to really get mechanistic information about protein complexes with structural readout. And that's what brought me over to the world of structural biology. It's been really helpful to have the independence that the EMBO Fellowship allows. Um, and also for me, some of the training that was provided by the EMBO um, program has been really useful. The lab leadership course was um, was really great and the opportunity to meet with other fellows and to discuss um, work across a really broad range of sub-disciplines within biology has also been really influential. And so I think the, the concept that EMBO has forwarded that there should be a training component for that leadership role is really vital um, and they've developed a really good program around the idea of trying to teach leadership at the postdoc stage and also at the group leader stage. Germany is an excellent place to be a scientist and to have young kids. It's a really supportive environment um, with really excellent infrastructure that helps you be efficient with your time. I did my PhD in the UK and I really enjoyed the experience of a longer term meeting with a new culture and uh, I enjoyed all the things that I learned living somewhere, somewhere new and I wanted to try it again. My mother works in agriculture, and my father in wildlife preservation. Probably their, not their work, but their individual love for nature probably got me interested very early. In a way, I, I started my studies in biology and I went sort of smaller and smaller until I was working at the single protein level, but really asking questions at the atomic level of how, how proteins work. In the end, we're all trying to understand this really amazing, the really amazing emergent properties of life, which come from, from very simple systems and principles and then display a, an enormous range of complexity and beauty. 